And now I I see the the light in the tunnel. Uh, it's a it is a, about one week since I come back a little more than I when I come back from Jerusalem, and I was very. Uh, much felt fever in my body and uh, so I decided me for to to call for the ambulance because I was scared that, that, that to have got uh, COVID because I, I felt me not well in my body uh, and uh, and the, it, uh, when they come, the ambulance asking me things. And I say, I can't touch on it. I can't tell you what it is. But when I feel like I, I do know that something is wrong in my body, then it is. I say, but I can't prove it. And they did some tests in my home. And, and uh, I heard one of these ambulance men. He was calling, calling the doctor uh, in the hospital. He, uh, he uh, told the doctor what uh, uh, all the result of the test and I, uh, I heard heard him saying that he should ask for one result he had got that is a little over over uh, what the normal normal so it was a little special that he like he, uh, he say that to me uh, just when he start to call the doctor I uh, I need to call the doctor because I had something here that is not really normal so I have to ask the doctor so it was so he said the uh, that he, they should take me, be, uh, take me to the hospital, uh, and uh, it was two days after they have been here, the, the ambulance, and they didn't took me in that time with them to the hospital. But they say I, I could choose if I wanted to go with them to the hospital or not. So when they say like that, it was like uh, staying here and not need to catch some COVID. That is on its race. It's gonna increase. It's increase just now. The new variation and and COVID nineteen from the beginning, and and one man that uh, work in the hospital, he say that people be, believe that when you have got the third vaccination against COVID, people think there is no COVID anymore. He say. So that that he have heard many times that uh, the vaccine will defend them uh, and you are safe behind the vaccines. And that is not true. Uh, it's uh, what it is is to to cover you to to maybe not get the worse of corona so you die 
but you'll be sick in Corona. And you spread it to other people and you spread it to people that have not taken any vaccination. So it is this what I talk about that I was in Jerusalem for the fourth time, the fourth season. And the four, four season is winter. I was in December in winter. And it's where everything stop growing, working. And so it had to be done before the winter coming. You know, need to have done what you should do what God have placed inside you, man or woman, um, what age you are in, that you need to bring it forward. You can't hold it because it will be too late when the winter coming. So I ended in winter time. In winter. And, uh, and it's much sickness and it start to race again. And so I I going back to be very careful now. And so uh, I didn't go the first time they were here, but the second time I have started to I have so much pain in my chest. Chest, uh, almost uh, everything, uh, everything around the ribs was crazy, painful. But I was thinking that because of the coffee I have done, I have coffee so much. So the second time uh, I didn't need to make the decision because they say, the doctor say that he wanted to see you in a hospital, in a emergency room. So they took me to the emergency room. I was laying, uh, laying and they carried me in and and then uh, they took uh, lots of tests. And as they didn't know, because I have told them, of course, that I have been to Israel. So they took me in, into a room by myself. So that was the good thing of it, that I, I didn't need to lay around maybe COVID people. So, but, but I also had my mask on, a new mask. I see pe lots of people, they carry the same mask everywhere. And that is not the meaning of it. You need to change it. And I, with my mask, I, I change it, but I don't throw it away because uh, if I have been in places where I can think it can be Corona, I have a, um, alcoholic spray, so I spray it on a mask uh, and uh, let it lay in the air uh, for at least one week. I don't take it, so it has to dry up of what is in on it and then I can use it but I we don't need to to throw it away and uh, so I so the test they did a corona test on me and I didn't have corona so uh, I was laying um, from 11 o'clock in the evening till, till 9 o'clock today in the morning. And uh, 
Uh, it showed that I had influenza in the flu. And not a cold a flu, really. That's why it was so hard on me. And, and then they say that because of the, of the of the flu, I had too high blood sugar. That I should not have that high blood sugar as I have insulin and. I, I am home and I don't eat so much sugar. Uh, so, so they say that the test showed that I was in this keto uh, situation problem. That uh, keto, you can read about it, but that is when... Uh, when the, the body doesn't get energy from from the liver and the, from the sugar and then it start to eat on fat and organs and can be deadly and it it can uh, uh, damage organs in that way. So what what they did was to give me a quick insulin. That was what they did. Uh, a quick dose of insulin. And so so I be okay. So I sit and wait for they have call for for a, a transportation to my home. So I sit and wait, and suddenly it come a man into my room, uh, a nice looking man, and. Uh, he said uh, he was coordinator for the hospital and the, the patients, the person. And uh, he asked me how I felt if I had someone at home and that uh, waiting for me and help me and and I told him that I don't have anything. There is no people around me. They they have taken a distance from me. They don't want to be with me. It's like I meet of hate from people. And I say to him, and he said he say that uh, it's. Do you believe in God, he say to me. Uh, uh, I'd be surprised that they say that. Uh, I say, so, of course I do, because I have been working for God in 22 years. And so I, he will also be surprised, because uh, it was not Jesus in this time. And, uh, but he told me later when I asked him, he was Christian church. And uh, he said uh, it was the Orthodox Christian church that is uh, uh, it is uh, no, I, I forget what it is. I have to uh, look at my computer. But the country is a B, close to Turkey. You maybe know it. Uh, I have to look at it. Uh, I have still, I have 
still fever. So I, I have hard to keep it in my, my brain. Uh, but it's Serbia. It's Serbia. Uh, close to, to Turkey. And uh, Cyprus. Cyprus. And that way to Israel. And I have, I am very sure that he is my in my family tree, but on my father's side because my mother come not in that way to to Europe. My father was going from Israel to Cyprus and. Uh, going to those uh, Serbia and those countries and uh, up to Russia over to Finland and to Sweden and and my mother come from France on that side uh, and Ankara to the north of Africa and then walk in the whole whole uh, a land uh, close to the sea they come to Israel and uh, if it was from Israel to France and my father to Turkey and uh, his line so he I knew this church that he talk about and I say, I, I was there. It was when I, just when I had been drive over of a car. And I did, I had to wait for the scooter to, to come. So I was not, not so good in walking. And I tried to find that church and uh, the opening of it and I couldn't enter in there but uh, now on uh, now I'm going to go there and, and meet this man uh, because I told him that I don't have any people uh, around me that that help me that can help me I don't have people like that and I want to be with a group of people but I say that not these old people because I'm more than more than a person I'm not sure that he knew how old I was uh, so I say uh, I don't want to be with the old people. I will have, I will be want to be with a mix of age people. You you know you that have listened at me many episodes. You know I'm a modern person. So it's not about cakes and buns and coffee for me. I don't drink coffee and. Uh, so I say that to him, and he, he uh, I, I think he saw something in me, because he he hold and look in my eyes so, so much, like he, he thanked me and loved me, in that way that he was, see me. I don't know yet. We will see. Uh, time will tell. But I am going to his church. Even if it's very demanded. It is very much about men. And not women. But, uh, uh, but I hold into what, what the Catholic church say. It must be a very special woman 
to give birth to the prophet Jesus Christ. Uh, it must be a special woman, so she should be uh, should be named also much more than what the most Christian churches do. They don't talk about her, and that is very bad, because she belonged to these patriarchs. So uh, I. You hear my voice is bad because I have I coffee very much still, but the the nose is not flowing so much, and I have start to to taste food and and smell. So today I'm hungry now. Today I will. Warm up a frozen pizza. I don't buy uh, fresh pizza because they can have coffee in the pizza. And I, the, I prefer pizza that is made of machines. Uh, so, uh, and they are good. Uh, they also, if uh, like, not do. Uh, Place them in the oven uh, as it they are. You can spice them up. You can place other things on it also. Not only what it is there. And for me, is it, I have Bernays sauce. This, this yellow sauce with dragon in it. And lay on the pizza, and maybe I find more than that. It's uh, I I like uh, gorgonzola cheese on uh, on my uh, pizza. Also, I will see what I find. And so. I hope. In some way, they maybe see me as as uh, Jesus, Mother Mary coming back to earth. I don't know who I am in that way. I only do what heaven tell me to do. Uh, you know, I can be. Uh, God is not. Uh, he, he can choose whatever he wants to choose. So if I was a man in other lives, he can make me to be a woman and still be a man in the way that I should do for, for God. The work I should do for God is not as a woman, as a man, but in the form of a woman am I. But I should do something that I will meant to do. You know, it, it doesn't need to be exactly the, the form and the coming back. Because he was like, uh, now I'm talking about Jesus. Jesus, he was going back as a as a man in his uh, 33 years of age about and and then he he should come back uh, they expecting it many of the religions expect him to come back and be like Messiah, uh, and that can uh, doesn't need to be in uh, the human form that he left. What what the Bible is talking about is spirits. So the form. 
when he's coming back is about the spirit field Jesus he has nothing with gender to do I there is I I come to to see you there is someone just now that listen that jump up and clap hand and say I knew it I knew it she's saying uh, uh, so, uh, I, I sometimes I see this happiness when when the key fit in into the hole in the door so you can open the door and get the new le- knowledge and I told this Serbian man that that uh, I did forget it directly yes. oh, help me have to remember Oh, I, the door is open, I was talking about, and uh, yeah, I say to this, thank you, Helen, I say to this serving man that Jesus is the, uh, the uh, gate, uh, uh, the door that you should enter in but but people doesn't walk there they stop at Jesus and never walk forward into that uh, hole that hold the 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 port uh, the door stay there but there is much things to investigate and get knowledge of what is behind Jesus. To go more than to Jesus only. And I have a walking. First I walk to where Jesus was. That I did when I was homeless in the United States. But then uh, when I come back to Sweden, I start to get more knowledge about heaven. And it felt sometimes that it was like uh, someone in a white light was walking behind me. And then I, in the night, I, I got visits of many spirits, but I didn't know how to do with them. So I never could talk to them because I didn't know how to meet them. And that's what, where you are, most of you that listen, that is follower of me. You are, you know, you know to, that you have to go forward because you hear me that I am going forward. Yeah, I have left Jesus behind, but I have not left him. But I don't stand there with Jesus. So, uh, how to meet? This is what the question for you is that you longing to hear the answer of how to meet what is behind Jesus. And uh, the man today, the Serbian man, he say people have, have fear about it, so they stay in a safe place 
and that is Jesus. Even if they know there is more than Jesus. And you know, Jesus say that to his disciple, that I could tell you, tell you more, uh, but you can't bear it. And what he say, you can't bear it. That means they have fear for it. So it means like a locked door for them in that way. So they don't reach heaven like I have done. No one have told me to stop. Some people I have met have said, I should uh, make it in my mind that I see a door be closed, a closed door with everything I have a close and never open it. And that is the devil that say that. Because it's the opposite. You should meet them. And uh, you protect yourself by talking to God, not Jesus, but you know there is a God that is the father of Jesus. And you should talk to him to protect you first. So uh, what you meet in the afterlife, uh, you, you will make sure that it's good, good spirits that come and meet you. You, you have heard me, uh, you have heard me that I am going down in, into Sheol, the hell. I go down there sometimes, but I'm not worried because I have protection. And I create protection by talking to God first to, to hold me so I, I don't go wrong. So I'm coming back to, to heaven again. So that if you don't have the foundation to know there is a God that is over Jesus or what, uh, what prophet you have as a talking man for you that is between God and you. There is a person that most people have. Uh, and it doesn't need to be Jesus. It can be other prophets you have. Uh, but one day, if you, if you train you and follow what I tell you, and what heaven tell you, and what God tell you, what Jesus tell you, what the other prophets tell you, uh, then you don't need have to have someone between you. Uh, you are one with God. And that w is what Jesus wants you to be. But the fear to get more knowledge make you stop at him. And uh, Jesus say, no, you can't follow me because you need to have your own way to God. Because he has taken you to that door where he's standing and welcome you. But then you have to, to walk in the plan what God has planned for you. And that doesn't need to be Jesus to go with you. You go by yourself. And, and the foundation that you know, Jesus is waiting for me in the door. If, I, if something should go wrong, I can turn on and walk to the door. And Jesus is there to protect me. But you need to do a move away from Jesus now. It's time for you to do it. So that's what 
a lesson for you today from heaven and the spirits. I have a spirit here very much that I have talking to you. I never know. I, it's very, it's, sometimes it is a spirits that coming that I don't know before later. But he have been here with me, and he make me be like more sick because it's so much energy. But it, that sickness is going away as soon as this energy is going away. It's a little warm for me, this energy just now. But I'm okay. It's going away um, about two days from now. Am I okay in my flu? And I, uh, the doctor say I should not go out for some days now. And I don't need to go out uh, to uh, make people be sick. I am okay at home and I need to clean up because I am not... I have not touched anything since I come from France. I have washed my clothes and of course taken my medicine. That's it. I have uh, washed some what I have eaten on. And now I'm going to eat pizza. So thank you for listening. And I hope you, you learn from me. What heaven is telling you, because this was the spirit talking to us. God bless you.